now we are discussing open collector ttl nand gate why this circuit is called as open collector in this circuit you can observe we are using three transistors t1 t2 t3 as we already discussed transistor t1 is having multi emitters to these two emitters we are giving two inputs if you want to design three input nand gate then how many emitters you have to use three emitters if you want to design a five input nand gate how many emitters we have to connect five emitters t1 we have to take now t2 is connected in common collector configuration what is the configuration of t2 common collector cc in the common collector configuration we will not use the collector either for the input either for giving the input or for taking the output so this collector terminal is connected to supply we are giving input to the base terminal and we are taking the output from the emitter terminal so this is emitter follower whatever the voltage that is available at the base the same voltage that will be available at the emitter if the voltage that is available at the base is 5 volts the same voltage is available at the emitter that is 5 volts if the voltage at base is 0 the voltage at the emitter also 0 okay only current amplification can be done in the common collector configuration but there is no chance for the voltage amplification same voltage at the input will be appearing at the output so voltage amplification factor is 1 next we are discussing the output of this emitter is connected to the next transistor t3 this collector terminal this t3's collector terminal is left open that's why this circuit is called as open collector t2 collector is not at all open t1 collector is not opened but still we are calling it as a open collector ttl nand gate because the transistor final transistor t3's collector is open now if this terminal is open there is no chance for us to get the output that's why we connect an external resistor this is not the resistor that is available in the ic externally we have to connect a resistor to this ic as we previously discussed digital logic circuits are available in the form of ic's so this entire combination is in the form of ic now this external resistor we have to connect on the breadboard and again we have to connect to this collector terminal this external resistor if it is connected to the supply we call this external resistor as a pull up resistor because we have connected this resistor to the supply by chance if we connect this resistor to the ground we call that resistor as a pull down resistor here we are using the pull up resistor but this is the disadvantage to us why this is a disadvantage we are taking the output from this collector terminal the output either may change from low to high or high to low in both the cases when the output is changing from low to high or high to low it takes some amount of time because of this external resistor so the propagation delay of this circuit is actually we have to get in nanoseconds we have seen but the propagation delay of the circuit is more and so speed is less now we are discussing the operation of the ttl open collector ttl nand gate first we have drawn the truth table if the inputs 0 0 if we give to the nand gate output is 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 0 first we are checking if we give the inputs 0 0 we are giving the input 0 0 0 volts 0 volts because the input is 0 volts with respect to the vcc this input is low the transistor will be in on condition with respect to a and with respect to b because the transistor is in on condition we can observe at the collector terminal a very low voltage which is equivalent to zero because the voltage is low at the transistor collector t1 collector the same voltage we are giving to the transistor t2 space this is a cc connected in cc configuration it is emitter follower so same zero volts will be observed at the emitter terminal of the transistor t2 and the same zero volts is provided to the transistor t3 space so this t3 is in 
ऑफ कंडीशन बिकॉज द ट्रांजिस्टर टी थ्री इज इन ऑफ कंडीशन वॉट एवर द वोल्टेज वी हैव कनेक्टेड हियर दैट विल बी अपियरिंग एज एन आउटपुट एज्यूम वी हैव कनेक्टेड ए फाइव वोल्ट बैटरी देन द आउटपुट विल बी फाइव वोल्ट विच इज हाई दिस कंडीशन इज चेकड now we are changing the input a to zero volts we are keeping the input a as same but we are changing the input b to 5 volts this transistor is in on condition with respect to a and anyway it is not in on condition with respect to b because it is not providing any short circuit with respect to b whatever the vcc we are giving same vcc we are trying to give at the b terminal so anyway transistor is in on condition with respect to a again zero volts at the collector terminal the same zero volts is supplied to the transistor t2 base again the same zero volts will be appearing at the emitter of the t2 so transistor t3 is in off condition again output is high now plus 5 volts zero volts transistor t1 is in this is in on condition uh, previous case of is actually it is written and it remained same in all these two cases and in this case also the transistor is in on condition now the transistor is in on condition collector voltage is zero transistor t2 semitor voltage is zero t3 is in off condition so output will be high in the last case transistor t1 so base voltage is same as emitter voltage with respect to a and with respect to b the transistor is in off condition because the transistor is in off condition we observe high voltage at the transistor collector and the transistor t2 is in transistor t2 because we are giving a high voltage anyway this is cc whatever the voltage we are giving to the base the same voltage will be available at the emitter so same 5 volts will be available at the emitter t3 is in non condition because t3 is in non condition output is 0 volts this is how we have designed open collector transistor transistor logic and and gate but the disadvantage as you mentioned it is very low speed operating circuit output comes very slowly to overcome this disadvantage we will go for the totem pole concept we will discuss that next